Hello everyone, Hypershetic100 here, bringing you a new game, because once again I cannot decide when enough is enough. Uh, Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Yes, I have played this game before. I have... I've deleted my save data, because I want a fresh start, so that I know what planes I have access to. Yes, I agree not to use this in order to try and do it. Uh, yeah, so there's really not much of a difference between standard and expert, except in expert you roll instead of turn. This is how aircraft, expert is how aircraft actually fly, but I prefer standard. We're going to do English for the f voiceovers and English for the... Uh, SP missions. These are special missions that are... These are the DLC missions. There are three of them, unfortunately, due to the pandemic. Uh, there are three... There are three difficulties. There's casual easy, which will automatically turn on the standard version of... Hang on, complete process for easy and casual easy difficulties will be combined and the data with the greater amount of progress will be used. Easy is just, oh hey, we're gonna Easy is just easy. Normal is alrighty. Hard difficulty level for those who want a bit more than the usual challenge. We're gonna be doing this. And there's a reason... There's... Okay, so... About easy and normal. Easy and normal difficulties aren't technically... Easy is easy. Casual... This is normal. This is regular difficulty. It might seem weird that it's like, oh, hey, it's two things of the same thing. Well, actually, no. See, normal mode is your most difficult that you're going to have with unlimited gun. Hard mode and the further unlock difficulty of ace mode have a have a gun ammo count that you have to keep track of. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Oh, right, you. It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. I wonder why. I lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Then let her join the Air Force. <laughs> Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging jokes she never says. Had, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. 
I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh but it, it was impressive. The technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. So you did so why did you make landing gear for it then if it can't land or turn? This is I think an imaginary plane called the F-104 Starfighter. There's the cone. Through the clouds, high into the sky. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. Oh, jeez Louise. It's an MQ-99. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. I mean, technically you're turning. Did you also not put a radio system in it? Yes, we're all here. Come settle on, down. let's go. Let's go. Said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. Roger. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? That was a bomb. There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. And we're just now hearing about them. Over the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units. Take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. Roger. This is not a drill. Well, no shit. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Our aircraft attack name is Trigger. We'll be flying with Clown. We've got Knocker and Brownie up there as well, alongside Golems 3 and 4. Our target is a Tu-95 bomber. I think it's a Russian-make and model. But yeah, so this is... So... Every one of these with a star beside it are DLC. I'm not going to be using them in the game. Because, well, take a look at those stats. 
the ADF-11 especially. So we're going with the Fighting Falcon with its four AAMs. Do like this, like four target air-to-air -air missile. Each quadrant aircraft preparation is complete. Stand by at the front. Roger. And I will be doing every takeoff and landing. You can skip those. There's an achievement for doing all of them. I've already gotten the achievement. But I'm going to be Radar doing the... Still Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. Why are the sights? Why are the radar sights silent? Clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Ocean fighter. Hurry, mage squadron. Of mage squadron. With trigger. Trigger, your call sign is mage two. Verify and read back. Mage two, got it. Why are we chasing after the ones that have already bombed us, though? Mage two, warm up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Warmed up with Mage one. Okay, let's go. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Hi, Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. Got it. Our radar's hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Yeah, you can reduce your speed. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Located. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. So you might have noticed I switched to my four AAs. Watch out for the support aircraft. Page two locked. Fire. Enemy support eliminated. And that's all of them. Destroy the target. Target confirmed down. Looking good, page two. They're high in the air. I am called. You need to calm down. Get back in one piece, knocker. Oh, the MIG's breaking off. Go after these guys to the south. It was like technically we should probably be going after the ones to the north since they're, you know, closer. Oh, 
There there you are. That's all bombers gone from the north. Mage two, keep your focus. You got this. Ah, uh, okay. So I can't. I need to unlock the play first. Okay. So there are special conditions in each level that you have to complete in order to bring out a new, bring out a named play. It looks as though you need the plate unlocked in order to actually activate it. Mage two, missile away. Ah, the T ones. But still airborne. Finish it off. And that's mission accomplished. You could tell because all the planes are what. To call in mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Oh, no more tally hoes. That's sad. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Wonder how long that's gonna stay. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? The bad boss. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably not enough for an S rank. Yeah, and you could replay, you could rewatch the tactical laser system. That's because I have the DLC and it unlocks all of the weapons. Don't worry about the tactical laser system. You want to watch out for the electromagnetic launcher. <laughs> we are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Union continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Yeah, except there were a few games in this series where, you know, kind of... Do the exact opposite. Hmm. Yeah, you can speed it up, you can slow it down. Ah. The aircraft tree has been unlocked in campaign mode. You can now equip upgrade parts in campaign mode. Sweet. On to the next mission. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuja, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources Mr. Harling goes missing during inspection. ...regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. 
Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuja, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The executive office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not the much you can do about started. that. <laughs> 20 years ago, Sometimes. The got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Oh yes, but we're the bad guys in this one. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erujia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erujia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. Because they the used civilian the the transports, forces to which the space elevator is not spilling a single drop of blood. Unheard of. President Lusitania did have weapons on it. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. No, really? I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. Their attacks, it's collateral damage, which tragic, yes. Undoubtedly. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship too. We headed off down okay, south but... for several days and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Erujia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. Hey. The base, the fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. 
joy. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? Yes, actually. So, it's been done before. <laughs> they found out. And set the dogs on me. Charge the enemy. Mission 2. Really wish they had used the operation names for these... Ruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhan continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with the Ruja are currently appearing throughout Yuzha. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. Okay. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. Okay. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. And that means I gotta fly low. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. That's not good. If that good. happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Oh, I'll try my best, but there's no promises. Operation Eastern Wind. Obtain aircraft weapons and aircraft parts at the aircraft tree to gain the upper hand in missions. MRP. Points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches. They can be exchanged for new aircraft, special weaponry, and upgrades on the aircraft tree. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete and in multiplayer mode for each match you play. The better your performance, determined by your completion time, number of kills, etc., the more points you can obtain. Use the MRP on the aircraft tree to obtain more powerful aircraft. Weaponry and upgrade parts give you more of a fighting chance in the air. Items on the aircraft tree are connected by lines. To unlock an item, you usually need to unlock the item before it on the same line. Some items, however, require you meet certain conditions before you can gain access to it. When you acquire new aircraft, you will automatically be given a special weapon, but the remaining two need to be purchased with MRP. Spend on MRP cannot be refunded. Some aircraft and special weaponry are better suited to anti-air combat, others to anti-surface combat. The key to a successful mission lies in choosing the appropriate setup. Fighter boasts excellent maneuverability, ideal for air-to-air -air combat. Multi-role adapts well to a variety of combat situations while not excelling in any particular area. They say that, but multi-role are my favorite type of aircraft. Attacker, sturdy aircraft, capable of excellent anti-surface combat. Special weaponry types, air-to-air, -air for dealing with aircraft, air-to-surface, for dealing with targets not in the sky. Other possesses characteristics that belong to neither of the above categories. Parameter speed refers to a flight's aircraft's flight speed. Mobility refers to an aircraft's maneuverability. Stability refers to an aircraft's reliability. Air-to-air -air refers to the aircraft's anti-air capabilities. Air-to-surface refers to the aircraft's anti-surface capabilities. Defense refers to an aircraft's durability. Aircraft special weaponry and upgrade parts have varying costs that only apply in multiplayer mode. Some rooms in multiplayer mode feature cost restrictions, requiring an aircraft below a certain cost to, for players to join. So we got the F-2A, the F-14D, the Mirage 2000-5, 
and the MIG. You achieved the rank airman first class, huh? I could get the big, but why do I want the big? The big's not a great played. Yeah, and here you can see all your DLC planes. So we can't even buy a plane part that I want. I will eventually be forced to buy the big stuff. But... Not today. The F-16 is a pretty good play, all things considered. But not really as well known as its more famous baby brother. The F-14 Tomcat, with its swept wing design. They don't want us attacking civilian areas. Maybe, you know... Maybe don't put armored personnel carriers... Maybe don't put armored personnel carriers right next to civilian places. Oh, that is a lot of missiles coming at me. Missile coming from. I'm taking fire back. 
missile launch. Four targets remaining. Oh! Keep your mind focused. Three targets remaining. All transports have been destroyed. Just managed to get those down before the drones. What happened? Status report. Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. They're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look, oh, they gotta be the drones. Well spotted, Cloud. No doubt about it, we're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is Golem 1. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Repeat, bandits are drones. Alrighty. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. I've only, I only had one... Art of the dog fight. I wish I was better at expert controls. That's why I have the gun. There's not much we can do about that. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. Right. The current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. MiG 29A Fulcrum. Lash to Hmm. I wonder how that word's pronounced. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Ready? Yes, S rank. Sweet. Ready, so what's the next job? The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. So they attacked countries that they weren't the at war with? <laughs> and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Okay, you need to make up a... Sunk is it Grunder? Is it Gunther? Or is it Gunder? Our cutting-edge aircraft carrier, Castle 2, was at sea. So it was spared from the attack. Because there's like three pronunciations for this. Castle 2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. Okay. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The 
Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. All the right. enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. Okay, so There's focus more. on air to air so encounters. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new advanced type of drone. MQ-101. The airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal Birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. Why did we build if them? If that's true, <laughs> it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. Seems like a dumb idea to build giant autonomous things after, you know, the white bird of peace. Uh, the... Whatever it's called. Whatever it was called in, the la in uh, Ace Combat 5. Oh, there is an acceleration thing that I've got. Time to grab the F-14D, the Super Tomcat. Won't be able to buy another plane for a while, but we can buy some more stuff. Missile power, huh? That unlocks, that gives us the ability to per to at least see the F-15C Eagle, which is right below the F-15J Eagle. Buried it with the F-15C created outside of the original developer's country. Although fundamentally almost identical to the F-15C, the craft differs in finer details and choice of weaponry. Like the F-15C, its nickname is also the Eagle. Oh, it looks like the Mirage is multi-roll. Probably should have grabbed that. But I get... But going with the F-14D gets us access to the first attacker aircraft. Right, we're gonna go with the... Wow. The F-14... Why is the Super Tomcat... Alright, we're gonna grab some parts. Upgrade parts, body, boost in aircraft speed, maneuverability, durability, etc. Arms, boost the power of machine guns, standard weaponry, and special weaponry. Miscellaneous. Enhance an aircraft in ways not outlined above. There's only so many s slots, but no matter how many slots you have, you can only upgrade them with eight parts. Might as well put them all on. It's not really much of a reason not to. As you can see, the aircraft has 24,000 rounds in its gun, 84 missiles, 5 flares, and 22 long-range anti-air missiles. Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Alrighty. Taking off. Take down the bandits. Operation Dual Wielder. Wonder why it's called that. I mean, I know why it's called that. 
It's like they don't know this is gonna what's gonna happen is gonna happen. Uh Catapult. I love. It's one thing I always liked about seeing. One thing I always liked about uh, aircraft carriers was the. Uh, Wow, there's a phantom. If you can't evade a missile, use chaff and flares. Your fingers should still move even if you're in a 9G turn. These can hit at a very long range, which is the entire point of them. It's a phantom. That's sad. I don't think this is going to hit, though. Oh, wow, that did hit. Hit her ghost and a fireball. Nice. A war dog? It's gonna be tough though, mage. Oh, 
I don't think you know what a baby looks like there. Whoa. Pull away. went foo bar so quickly. Debriefing that a lot of them are probably not going to make to make it to. Ooh, I love it when you talk dirty to me, Cloud. Uh-uh. It's like, you won't make any difference up here. Sugar doesn't need to fill in for me. It's like, that would, that would make a lot, that would have a lot more impact if we knew why Trigger had just joined this air, this uh, specific squadron. Do my darndest. Yeah, I know. You kind of ordered us to do that. Ah. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I'm used to have my planes having a way more durability. <laughs> We're gonna restart this from a checkpoint. Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Column two, head back to base. Gargoyle one, escort column two. Continuing the mission. Still got my wings. Trigger doesn't need to fill in. I'm back and I. You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Copy that. I've just got to keep your maneuverability up. Don't be predictable. Who intercepted that one for me? Oh, there we go. Well, that was... I got the loner. It's like, yeah, you... Oh, 
Oh, that's not a good voice. Stop dogfighting and run. She can't. That's the entire point. I wish I could believe that. I don't get it. Why is that opening fire? I'm scared. Scared. This is not good. Brody, break off. She doesn't have a chance. Cutting across is better for guns than missiles. Doing my best. Trigger, can you help him? I'm doing what I can. Clown. On my way. Somebody! Support! Ronnie? I know. All friendlies have exited the combat zone. I said what I had to say. About what? Not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. She didn't have a chance to retreat. So we've got to find a new got to find a new member of Golem Squadron, huh? Okay, so they I forgot that they do indeed actually make contact before they retract their wings. Speed is lowered. Speed is lowered, my dude. <laughs>
Uh, now return to base. This is our base. Don't you remember? <laughs> it's like, return to base. This is our base. Don't you remember? Air to air missiles I can lock on to up to six targets. Though effective against multiple enemies, they have trouble hitting highly mobile ones. Yeah, the only weapon you'll have that'll hit high high agility enemies are the Q AAMs. The front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel 2 was sunk during the attack on Farbanda. Oh, so that's why it's called that. Airborne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. Situation Thank you. Is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. A rank. Dang it. That got us another 80,000 MRP. Here he comes. SU-30. Orange wingtips. Mihai's looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now, compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. Hmm. What a nice you know what guy. Penal unit, you ask? This place is a ship. Okay, so question. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, Avril is a civilian. Place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what I would understand her being, here. you know, we got all put in jail. Too. Everything from Lee Ridley for guards, breaking dogs, and aviation law for, for flying in a combat rocks. zone. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped too. One's a great but why is she in a penal a unit? Thief. One's a gambler with no luck, and one's an anarchist with no balls. The what do you mean? He threw a rock at somebody. <laughs> the, fake runways. the idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Fun! And again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Yeah. She was having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. 
You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osia, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osia was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osia down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Kinda don't, don't have a choice. Building fake ass planes to trick Aruja, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. Okay. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the arsenal birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, difficult, need to get swiftly to the but space elevator not no what impossible. Case. Someone there is counting. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erosion forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting okay. for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. It will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, a reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. Okay. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After Why? You through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Golem and others will arrive shortly for support. Uh, I mean, I understand why for Provide plot reasons, but Mr. why me? After Good luck out there. Because as far as the, sto as the story goes, I'm like three missions. I have three missions under my belt. <laughs> I'd really like the F-15C. Either that or the bit. That or the Super Hornet. Either the Eagle or the Hornet would be great. Ooh. The F2A Viper Zero. That one might actually be good. Never actually flowed the F two A. Wow, that intake looks weird. Brake plus bomb power plus. So you got a new nickname. Uh, nicknames are only for use in uh, multiplayer. I might actually have to use the F2. It's a little slower, but it's... Range air to ship missile. There's no reason to put that on. It's a missile, not a... Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Alright, alright. We can on it.
entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. Why did we have radio silence before? If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use okay. Of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. Oh, on too low. Uh, stay at about this speed. We're gonna blow through this as fast as we can. Trigger, you're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. I am. You be quiet, lo or uh, Skykeeper. Sorry, I much prefer your later version. Skykeeper. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll Alrighty. do my best to save him. Let me a hand trigger. I'll do what I can. So about so that right radio now, silence. About to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Oh hey. Target destroyed. Half of the SAM sites are down. Sea Goblin gets to join in on the fun. Mage 2, target down. Mage 2, missile away. Ground target destroyed. Trigger, sorry about the wait. Cavalry's here. Column squadron. Took you long enough. All of the anti-air. Sea Goblin, you are clear.
Travers, respond. Is Mr. Harling alive? That's about half. Mop up the rest. All right. Mopping them up. Uh, Goblin? Oh, yeah. oh, See, Goblin, can this you hear me? Do you copy? I am with President Harley. Rescue unit down, along with the soldier who had this radio. Ah, uh, bollocks. Sir, we feel the same way. We'll figure something out. A little past left of the charge before the enemy wears out. I would his engines be on. Let's blow you up before you have a chance to launch here. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose One. I've sent the information via the data link. Oh, hey, I blew it up without. The uh, gun reticule. Again, I lost two missiles because of my gun. President Harling's transport is ready to take off. Mother Goose One, take off. Providing support. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101. Lots and lots. Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Wilco, forming up. Mage 2, Box 2. Okay. What are you doing? Ooh, they fired all their missiles. I'm with you, Knocker. Squadron, assess the situation. So 
Caller warning. This is Mage One. I have Mother Goose One in my sight. The cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. Colonel Johnson, are you okay? I don't think he is. Shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage 2 fired that. There was no chance. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the element. Erosian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage 1. It's a trigger. <sighs> trigger was the closest. We have cameras mounted on these guns. I don't. We have cameras. Check the footage. <laughs> the operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court martial. For what? <laughs> we have cameras. Been awarded the medal Silence is Golden. Got one or more new Mirage 2000 5 skins. But I don't have a barrage. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, we must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day, they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical mm. lowlifes. 
They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that is a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. With all the ways to get killed, that's gotta be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate, a guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talking the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling, the president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason the I had to go give my friend war. Off, and why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Okay. That, you're projecting Maybe a bit too much there, Avril. No. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Uh, mission 5, 444. Alright guys, I'll let you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces court-martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Yes, it does, actually. A lot. One of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. Why was it rejected? This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. We don't expect you to down any bombers. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. Then it would work better if we had the ability to shoot some of them. I should be able to shoot some of them down. Full band, full band, tabloid, count, high roller, and champ. Those are all of the allies you need to know. Obtained a new aircraft, the, M the MiG-21 Bis Fishbed, and the F-104 Starfighter. Fishbit and Starfighter. Both of these have terrible, terrible, terrible 
stats compared to even the starting F-16. Grab the Mirage, though. Oh, hey, you can pull that back up. I never knew that. Uh, Tactical laser system and plasma la it's, I don't know what PSL... PLSL stands for. But only one plane actually has that, and it's the, uh... ADF... 11F The Raven but Yeah, I'm not gonna use the Starfighter or the Bis the fish bed This is it boasts an impressive war record, meaning basically it it's just something that's been around for a while. It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Operation High Card. Deceive and disrupt the enemy in the air above the base. Mobility is king. Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Oh, be quiet. Spare Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for spare 80. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? Several. <laughs> Trigger your call sign is spare 15. Great. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. <laughs> My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. Sperry, would you land your ass as grass? Spare 15. Takeoff confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> you can just keep setting off the warning sign. Here warning. Alarm. He oh, shot, two missiles right shot it. I did not. <laughs> I did not do it. I did not. I did not. Oh, hi, poor man. <laughs> Points to that guy for being honest. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Right out. Not really. Oh, Skull Squadron. Welcome back. Yeah. The enemy seems to think our air force is concentrated on this base. Everything on the ground is fake. Can't the enemy see that? Means there's 
that convincing. Shit! The enemy just hit the control tower! Hey, what's with all the shaking? I... I don't know. Not let the enemy get closer. Are you trying to kill me? Uh, well, maybe you should... Maybe you should have us fire on the enemies try to level the base. Spare squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're clear to engage. Show no mercy. We'll be done by now to rethink the odds. Wanna bet which one of us gets the first kill after he starts? This is the first. If counts going, I decide whether you die. Alright, I'm just going to bed. All aircraft support me. Yeah, that's not happening. Sorry about that. Taking the fun away from these losers. Okay, I was a bit too close for that one. One missile probably would have done well enough. Oriented. The targets are still active. Keep up the attack. What the hell are you doing? Are you we'll go. Madam McKenzie, please maintain silence for a moment. Two targets remaining. Why in the world would someone be a squadron of convicts? There's gotta be some kind of reason. Now the paper mache strategy at the base seems to be doing the trick. Guess every man and his dog has an idea how to end the war. I hate that mark on my tail. Still alive, Harlings murderer? Then dinner's on me tonight. Cut the chatter, spare squadron. Mission complete. RTB. RTB. Trigger's still with us. Must have the devil in his corner. Spare seven. What happens if the one you've bet on dies while landing? Then you 
win. So what? You're not done? Just checking. Better not try and force me to crash. Yeah, yeah. You have permission to land. Wind conditions are calm. Three thousand meters. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. I'm going as slow as I can. Lower your nose. You're too high. Fifteen hundred meters. Heading is good. Stay on course. Textbook landing. <laughs> right. Stand by for your next sortie. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. Oh, I won't, bad dog. <laughs> Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Jump in solitary once he gets back. Spearing, land your ass is grass. LAAMs. The target evades one as decent pilot can still pick the target off. Honestly, the entire evading thing is not really much of an issue. Did I say you could take down the enemy? Throw anyone who disobeys into solitary. Hey, Rank. I only took down... Bombers. One of more new nicknames. Spinning on to the next mission. Mihai's granddaughters like to keep to themselves, mostly. They were well-behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I catch myself looking at them. Wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. That's not creepy at all. The crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Arugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them... Volslog Air Force. Yes, what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Then they can teach you at home. <laughs> Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol A. On Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. When he was young, That's quite the he was name. The heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Erujian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot. When the royal family was ousted and Erujia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. And then it changed back into a kingdom. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. Oh. 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 
She laughed like a princess, and I found out later she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for Dog Arugia. JPEG. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. Tap, tap. I could figure him out. But Whatever his he's dead. Were about losing his homeland, <laughs> Even for me. Well, he doesn't really care. <laughs> Did you hear that question? Ah, uh, the log day. is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. Okay. First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. There are three bases there. I've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. One of them is actually pretty good at dealing with fighters. To revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way we can confirm where they're firing. Oh, ADF and then it's a ta case of ADF tanks. Regular force to clean them out. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repair. Hey, a return However, line. This is not for you guys. Ah. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Then what's Even the point of the return ammo, line? Don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy. Or 113 ground targets. No naval targets, thankfully. And 18 air targets. Do you want 60s, F-16s? CH-47s and AH-64s. AV-88s. There's a lot of baddies down there. Ooh, we're finally, I'm finally gonna fly the Thunderbolt. Yeah, most of the targets here are gonna be air to ground. Oh, that's a freaking Gatling cannon. I love this plate already. I forgot what it looked like. Got four air to ground missiles. Now, I don't think I'm going to take the rockets. Not a very speedy plane. No, nope, special weapons fine. But let's go. Preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Boy, Scrap Queen made a lot of flying planes. Roco Roja. July 4th, 2019. Some welcome. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? 
I heard the regular forces were gonna clean things up. It's just like before. We blow the shit out of everything. Sharp as attack, aren't you, Spare Aid? Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> Man, this this one's really slow. <laughs> This might have been a mistake. In Annihilation Battle, you have to reach the target. You're hitting three locations. Some have air power, so their threat levels vary. Think of the best way to rob them of their ability to respond. Use those empty heads of yours. If you die too fast, you won't even be useful as targets. Oh hey, they've got a couple of planes taxiing. Aircraft that join later needing any repairs or ammo will fly over the return line. However, you guys do not have that luxury. So, what are we supposed to do? Uh, just die, I guess. Thing. Oh wow, this... I didn't realize how much ammo the gun had. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh wow, that one just... Yeah, I know. That's why I'm dodging. Oh, 
got shot down by an attacker. <laughs> Yeah, there's a the base commander makes a big deal whenever a new mission comes in. But it's just one after another. Like that was the plan all along or something. Battle doctrines. Something happens, they tell you what to do next. Those here has one. It probably says where and when bonds like us will die. You mean they already know the next strategy? Hold up, hold up. Let's make a bet. Whoever guesses the next strategy wins. You can get in on this too, Van Dog. Maybe you guys need to cool your heads off in solitary. Well, that's no fun. Drive is all you need to look into a terminal. It's amazing how many people write their password on no letter desk. Gathering intel is all about getting access. It's not like, you know, I'm gambling with my life out here. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I am. Where did all this extra speed come from? Heading to the return line. I've never actually used the return line. Do I have to actually land, or...? My airspeed. Bank right. Lower your nose. You're too high. Airspeed lowered. We're going to keep the, uh... Spare 15, you are clear for takeoff. Get your ass in gear. Roger. Getting off as quick as I can. I missed a lonely AA gun out here. Yeah, there's a award for doing this without going over the return line. Uh, that's something I'll just get later. 48,000 rounds in the gun, huh? Gun 
That's most of this space. Hey, drones. Fun. Looks like they're the MQ 99s. Probably. Missile incoming! 
I know. I can hear my missile warning light. I can hear my missile warning alarm. Good thing about flying the plane. This slow. Oh, but who's looking below, my friend? That's where you're at. Okay. You've hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Damn right. I wouldn't be surprised if we're thrown in solitary too. Probably. Who goes into solitary? That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> oh, you shut up, full bed. Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. I already lost a wingman. I already lost a squad mate once. It's not something you joke about. Some welcome. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were going to clean things up. It's just like before. We blow this <laughs> eight target air-to-air -air missile. Air-to-air -air missiles that can lock on to up to eight targets. More than one can lock onto a single target. Make them adept at fighting large groups. Actually, no. It makes them very poor at fighting large groups. Because if you're not careful, you can accidentally target the same plane twice. You lost planes, but the mission succeeded. However, some of you cross the return line for supplies and for repairs. Yep. This will result in solitary. Of course. I'm not even surprised at this point. <laughs> First contact. You know, I've received a medal for my ingenuity in finding a use for you, Cons. You mean performing the missions that you were told to perform with your group? There's a special place in solitary confinement for you. Your so-called right to complain was forfeited the moment you chose to break the law. Okay then, go make yourselves useful. An Ocean Air Force squadron is currently entering Arusian territory for reconnaissance. Due to certain factors, their return route has been changed. The new return route will be through Yinshi Valley, a scenic and rocky karst area. The enemy's radar facilities and anti-aircraft weapons hidden on the mountainside pose a serious threat. Your mission is to destroy them and get our guys out in one piece, even if it puts your own lives in danger. Okay, it is then. important to remember, they will send up interceptors if you're detected. So you will need to choose something useful in a dogfight. The weather won't be on your side, but you're doing this whether you like it or not. Fun. Don't worry about the squadron's return route, not your own. Your mission is to get them back safely, which I think is the perfect punishment for your crimes. Fine. Count full band champ and tabloid. Targets are XMs. Radar sights. Probably gonna end up taking out a few of those. So the 18 is my next plane. 
That'll give me all the way up to the F-35C. Then the F-22. you make German first class at this rate. <laughs> Fine then. We're going something good in a dogfight. Picking my favorite, the F-14C. For no other reason than I just love the sweep wing design. Aircraft preparations complete. You're cleared to taxi. Waiting you Cyclops. Cyclops squadrons currently contain seven aircraft. Stand by. We'll be arriving shortly. Understood. Try my best. I gotta pull away for another pass at that one. Nice try. That's all the SAM sites. Roger Jaeger. Don't worry, Wiseman. We got your back. Oh, you are flying straight into a thundercloud. I hate you guys. The drones have jumped on the recon team. Our friends aren't equipped for air to air. They need our cover. All 444 aircraft, get them out of there. Not even one is to go down. 
destroy the UAVs. That's impossible. I'm not flying in there to help out some assholes I don't know shit about. As they say in my house, there's a thin line between bravery and stupidity. Someone flew into the thunderclouds! Spare 15 has broken through the thunderclouds. Nice work for a dumbass. No problem, Strider 2. Doing my best, tried to those thunder clouds. All cowards, go hide in the thunder clouds like trigger. I'm out of the king thunder clouds. Quit scratching your ass and approach the enemy. Try to stop it. Missile headed for Cyclops 2. Missed target. Missile. Radar confirmed spare 15 has come out of the clouds. Yeah, you're welcome. Cyclops 2, look behind you! Cyclops 3, check your 6! He's retreating, let's go. Trigger's holding up. We got our hands full. I'm about to to fly into a thundercloud. Got it. Cyclops 3 has broken off. Man dog, it's just me and one more to go. Spare 15. You're the only one earning any redemption today. Make sure the rest of them stay alive. You let the devil with three sin lines go free after that. You're in no position to call someone a devil, Count. Don't make me laugh. Cyclops 2 is broken off. All my guys managed to escape. Got me in gratitude Not a problem, Wiseman. I need to get out of the clouds. All UAVs in the vicinity confirmed destroyed. Nice teamwork. Thanks. Not a problem, Wiseman. Tell them I'm grateful. Copy that, Cyclops One. Spare squadron. Mission is complete. RTB. RTB. Hold it. Oh, give me a break. Do you have more chores for us? Spare eight, champ. We'll be approaching fast from the rear. All available units support spare eight. I don't need any support. Ah, beehive. Still not firing. I ain't afraid of it. Spare eight. No dog fighting. Negative. I'm not letting this slide. Woohoo! Cobra. Textbook. And the 16 is. Fucking quit. You could have done that sooner. Fair enough. Yeah, he shot down Champ. He was toying with him. Spare ten lost. Another one. One recon aircraft lost. What's with this guy? That's an SU-30. All spare squadron aircraft provide support for Cyclops and Strider. Keep the bandit off of them. Megan, that's not possible. Get in there with that monster, Spare 15. We're gonna lose more friendlies. <laughs> Shit. 
That's four confirmed hits. I'll keep them cuff. I'll keep them busy. Oh, Jesus Christ, please stop. I don't have any more LA. LA the entire recon squadron should be out of the combat zone. I'm aware. Fine, then stay on my tail. I'll find a way to get on yours eventually. That's interesting. Trigger. Kindness gets you killed. Cyclops, Strider, hey, what's your status? Who's the guy who worked his ass off at the rear? <laughs> the biggest dumbass in the unit. Makes sense. Only an idiot would be brave enough to pull off those moves. I'll guide you back to Air Force Base 444, though I doubt you have enough gas to make it. Appreciate the hill. Would be at the base. I wouldn't get involved if I were you. Why'd they have me all the way over there? Three thousand meters. Lower your nose. You're too high. Fifteen hundred meters. I was careful with the aircraft. Stand by for further orders. 
The crew said the enemy had one mean son of a bitch flying for him. Our team had a few Air Force hot dogs, real experienced pilots. But this guy swooped in like a hawk, locked on, and took them all out in the blink of an eye. Reminds me of a story Gramps told me once. He said a little while before he retired from active duty, he saw an enemy fighter wipe out an entire formation right in front of him. It was like seeing how a shark works when it's going after its dinner. This enemy pilot stalked Gramps' pals from below, just like how a shark would. Then one by one, he put the bite on him. Sounds like what happened to our guys today. Kinda surprised so many made it back alive. I bet when they saw what was going on, they broke formation and left their buddies to the shock. Hang on. No, not really. There's three extra planes here. They're foreigners too. Spare squadron, this mission needs to be quick. Target radar facilities and AA weaponry. They're set up on a rugged terrain, and there's a lot of cloud cover. You will be near thunderclouds. Man, you guys were born unlucky. Wait, who's a dumbass who came up with this batshit plan? Unguided anti-surface rockets attached to the front of the aircraft that can be continuously fired. They are ideal for neutralization fire. You can also use them to blow up planes if you've got good enough aim. <laughs> you returned without permission and failed as escorts. So how about you rethink your value while in solitary? Take them away. Well, well, what do you know? Pilots made it back to base alive. Treat them well and feed them plenty. After all, we have to get a favorable report out of them. Of course, I've spent you enough do. Of my time being the commander of some worthless penal unit. That's right. Yes. Relieved. Got one or more new F-15J skins. One or more new emblems. Ooh, emblems. I don't think... I had a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here. So I took it. An escape back here. Uh... Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. <laughs> they covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? This one. Hello. The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. How did I get he back before full bit before tabloid? Face. Like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked well, how do you ex a and kept going on and on. How do you expect anarchists to act? Not encyclopedias. Those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds. Fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So, you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow him straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. Hey, I keep my... The the hey, I keep my wingman safe. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know... I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I 
went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was going to keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Attention! If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. Oh the joy. Who has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable. Of course we are. Alrighty. So what have we got? Me, Count, Full Band, and Tabloid. Alongside a bunch of other... Ooh, new! Custom Part Queen's Custom. Long-range airship missile, electromagnetic launcher, the sniper rifle of the air. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm going to stick with the uh, A-10C Thunderbolt for this one. You'll be useful in the next mission, most likely. Ground hit defense. Unguided rockets. Speed up the missile speed, the reload. Oh, darn it. Homing capabilities. Increase the amount of missiles you can carry. That one's going to be more useful. Um, that, and that. Alrighty. Convicts, stand by at the front. Count. Champ went down tabloid. Like I knew he 
Just all bark and no bite. We were all there. He did not go down. Fuck yeah, fool bear. Fuck yeah, tabloid. Where's all the speed I had before? The Megastorm and Nessa 2 that formed a few days ago is approaching our AO. Oh, so that's how you switch. A fighter pilot needs to fight. Missions like this are too easy. Ben in luck! Enemy's locked on me! Someone help me out here! So the thing about this is that there are a lot of these fuel tanks. And destroying one destroys the buildings next to it. Got shit full band. to Sam. Blew up real nice. Blew up real pretty. Dust cloud is entering the area of operations. Finish your work if you want to stay out of solitary. One minute remaining. Trigger, hostile behind you. The enemy is escaped. Missile incoming. Break, break. Just miss just managed it. It's all because countries exist. Shouting that and throwing a rock. So it got me in here. 
Yeah, you're free. We have to do there. No, 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 Working on it. Thunderbolt was not a good idea. Kind of the only thing we can trust there, full band. So there are 20 other things. That's actually good to know. Spare two count. Where the hell do you think you're going? You're approaching erosion territory. Return. Just following orders to find tankers. So how about you go chew on a boat? They pave desert highways nicely, you know? People drive fast to avoid bandits in the desert. Smoke 
Fire Squadron, a new enemy is approaching. Bearing 350 from the reference point. They're coming from the north. Did they pick up Count's aircraft? Wait a sec, don't go blaming me. They appear to be Erujian drones. More UAV? Why are they always after us? The mission stays the same. Destroy the tankers. There's no way we can chase the damn tankers now. They're coming. Get out of your goddamn mind. A cat doesn't have enough lives to carry out your orders. Do your duty and take out the tankers. Tanker confirmed eliminated. <laughs> you can't run from us. Keep going. Burn it all. This is Spare 11. UAV down. We got one. Trigger trash to target. Nobody's celebrating. What do you think I'm doing? Found some. That cheers me up. Not that I give a rat's ass. You sound like you know something. I don't just give it tell away for free. Target is down. Well done. Okay. I've covered another one. That's a lot of fuel up in smoke. But there could be more hiding somewhere. There's one more. I got no vision. Trigger took down a UAV. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now's our chance to retreat. Looks like Thunderbolt needs a bit of work in order to get up to speed. Was tardy the tr the trucks, uh, the roads were just a bonus. HQ sent a message. That was the last one. All aircraft return to base. Bring up all those tankers. will starve their drones for a while. I'm still alive. Stick with trigger and you'll make it. Work like a charm. If you think that's all you need to survive, you might as well get your last rights now. Exactly. That was all dumb luck. Wait, you were in earshot, Count? Seems you've learned nothing in the sky, Count. Well, yeah, it's not like there's anything I can learn from Trigger. Oh. And where the hell were you at when I was trying to salvage the mission, you foobard?
I love head on. It's the best. The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. Be nice if you so said it something like else. Attention from above. If any credit is due, it should come to me. Prisoners deserve nothing. Yeah, Warthog. Uh, not the Warthog. I always want to call it the Warthog. The Thunderbolt. Headquarters is starting to view some of you in the penal unit as a valid military force. Or at least that's what the rumors are saying. But that's bullshit. The only reason you're here is to atone for your crimes by carrying out missions. Well, you sit on your ass and get medals. You, solitary, now. Okay, on to the briefing. In this mission, you're going into Arusian territory. We know the Arusian Forces communications facility to the north in the Wyapolo Mountains is linked to the swarm of drones. Your mission is critical. You will destroy the facility and then weaken those drones. As it's important, the enemy won't go down without a fight. The area is watched over by spy satellites. If discovered, expect AA missiles. Unless you have a death wish, you must use the clouds for cover around the sides and base of the mountains. Use the clouds to hide from their satellites, and you just might have a chance to shake off their missiles. If you do find a missile on your tail, head to the clouds and pray. Let the missile kill you or crash into the rocks. That much freedom I will give. Well, at least he's not completely terrible. But we're going to have to fly above the clouds to get some of these. So the Thunderbolt is not going to work. This is the homing capabilities of enemy missiles that are locked onto you. Pulse laser. Deservice air to air, capable of firing short bursts. So that's what that is. Pulse laser. Yeah, all of these are level 1. I don't know how you level them up, unless that's a multiplayer thing. In which case, we'll... Hmm. I'm gonna go with that. It's got the QA... Quick air-to-air -air missiles. Let's launch. It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Above. Stay in or below the clouds to keep hidden. That means no missiles. Even 
you want should understand that. Talk about an enclosed space. What's more enclosed than solitary? Commence operation. Don't shut it, band dog. I'm tired of you. Radar. Destroy the anti air weapons around it, too. Enemies are attacking. Enemy aircraft are heading this way. Just drive them away. Chase them upward. Lead them into the middle. What if the radar isn't under a cloud? Destroy it, and then scurry for cover if you value your life. I saw you say that. Destroy radar sites. You're still under satellite observation. Watch out for missiles. Feels like I'm being watched by a pack of band dogs. Because you the are. are guided by a combination of the satellite and the radar facility. So if the radar facility is destroyed, their missiles should stop hitting their targets. You sure you can trust that intel? Who knows? Only one way to find out. Unfortunately, he's got a point. There you are, radar tower. Trigger sends his regards. They don't have anywhere to run. Pick them off. Awesome. Radar site confirmed. Destroyed. Whoop. However, not all radars have been taken out. Satellite's still in operation. They sure aren't making things easy for us. Damn it, they're making us do something, but just what? It's a dangerous operation, but it's better than running through a minefield blind, I guess. They're so naive, Tavlo. We're doing these exactly like running through a minefield blind. Silence. If you've got time to yap, you're not doing your job right. Yeah, right. Using a trick any amateur can think of. Picked up a bunch of intel. Fu Man, that's your second strike. There will be a third. Target destroyed. Two to go. Dropping below the clouds. I got my hands on a password, and after some digging around, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure you understand what you're saying, Spare Six. I'll let you in on it when we're home, Van Dog. In this war, intel is Ooh. a life or death matter. <sighs> I think you might be right. Radar site destroyed. Show the last one the same hospitality. Climbing. You're in plain view, Spare 15. Get back to the clouds. Yeah, kind of have to be. That's the last of the radar sites we needed to destroy. That probably put a stop to their satellite's missile guidance capabilities. Someone fly above the clouds. How about you do it? I like the sound of that. You can deal with the exercise. Above the clouds. Wait a minute. This is the Air Force Base 444 Squadron. What is your affiliation? Uh, we Nobody got friends coming in? Incoming Allied fighters. Respond. Give me one second. <laughs> Gotta grab my food that was delivered.
Alrighty, let's return to the mission. Sorry about that. Time out. Tell me they're barrier troops. Someone's on me. Is he an enemy? Evade! Ocean fighters do not attack. Shit. These guys aren't allies. Are they spoofing our IFF? Modern IFF connects to our strategic system via satellites. It can't be decoded. There's always time. At this rate, no one's going to get out alive. All aircraft head into the clouds. Get out of the enemy's sight. Uh, and then what? Hey, the enemy's working in coordination. Snare 15, enemy's got a lock. I know. There's a shake radar lock. Gather around me. I mean trigger. What? Bandog, can you register trigger the blips around him as friendlies? What are you thinking? What good is that? What other choice do we have? Sure. All right. All aircraft, form up on trigger. Nice and tight. QAM launched. Five, four, three, two, one. Here it comes. That shockwave. What aircraft's gonna break up? Huh? Incoming transmission from HQ. Their weapon is codenamed Helios. It's a long-range missile carried by Arsenal birds. Arsenal birds. Oh, joy. I owe you one, Spenswell. Sending over the predicted impact zone. It's coming in hot. Damn, you're working quick today, Bandog. Get too chatty and you'll die. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't get caught. How can they fire like that when they've got allies in the airspace? Because they're drones. King on it.
Yeah, it's kind of the point of the missile. Get out of the impact zone. All UAVs down. Whoo! Count. Go get him. One to go. Where is it? Count. Right up. This is it. Avalanche! The enemy is watching from above. Already. And that'll do it for this after our pilot rolls and pitches simultaneously in a spiral. Yeah, that's that fast spinny thing that you see in the uh, Star Fox games is an Arleon. A barrel roll is to bleed speed. The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. Hold on, Count. It looks like your kill numbers are going up every day. You know what happens by giving false reports. Anyway, you other pilots should learn from him. And when I do, their kill count will make my star shine brighter. Yeah, it looks so weird with the altitude off. <laughs> Took out 11 FA-18Fs. But that will do it for this run-through. I've got lunch to eat. And I will see you all next time in the air.